44 and new this morning, a school district is putting a retired bus back on the street. This time it's going to help feed students over the summer. Christine Scarpelli live at Mills River Elementary showing us this refurbished bus. Hey, Christine. We're showing it off this morning. Absolutely, guys. Yeah, 15 students can sit right here in these two tables. Easy to clean, safe for them to come eat. Not while it's moving, of course, but this is really bringing meals to those students that just wouldn't get those any other way. Usually they eat at school and they just really need them over the summer. Uh, they started to see, though, that they just weren't being able to reach those students in some of the locations, community centers. What a great fix. Bring the meals to them. Uh, we're talking tens of thousands of meals. So to talk some more numbers, we've got Molly McGowan here. So excited to have you. Um, Molly, especially because you've been able to tell us a little bit more, break down some of those numbers. We've been talking this morning about what parents think um, and, and just different strategies you guys have with the bus. But again, break down some of those for us just so we know who you're reaching here. So we definitely know there's a need because there's about 7,000 of our students who qualify for free and reduced wow, meals. 7,000. And that and they are fed during um, the school year, our breakfasts and lunches. Um, but so those are the students who can really benefit from this service. And uh, last year we saw a huge increase in the numbers of meals we were f serving in our summer feeding program. So 2015 was the first time we did a summer feeding program, and that was at the, the stationary locations. No bus. No bus. No bus. Um, and last year we saw an increase of about 22,000 meals. So Still no bus. Still no bus. So still you saw a huge increase, mm -hmm. but you weren't able to bring the meals. So now this year, what are you expecting? Well, last year we served 37,000 lunches and about 20,000 breakfasts. With the bus um, alone, we're thinking if we can get 15 to 20 students on here each stop, um, about 230 meals served a day. So there'd be 1,000 a week, and that includes our two stationary locations. So 1,000 a week, that's thousands and thousands of meals served over the summer. Awesome. Amanda and Matt also we were talking to a second ago telling us the parents love this. Really great feedback from them. Thankful for this service. But again guys, this is something new. Hey, stay with us. We're going to talk about some of the other services that may be offered with a bus like this. A little bit of reading in there. We know uh, food also helps with academics too. Just kind of a neat setup guys. What do you think? Meatball subs can be served in here all day long. <laughs> all day every we day. We love it. Sounds good, Christy. We'll check in with you the next half hour. <laughs> 740.